Hello there everybody, welcome back to Dadge Gaming. I'm Dadge. Today we are trying out another DigiPen game from the DigiPen College University-esque thing in America. It's called Ready Vivus. Ready Vivus. Ready Vivus. That's what it's called. Um, I noticed an odd thing. When you click options, it brings up another menu with options or resume. Uh, seems a bit odd. I chose an option screen for a reason. Anyway, we'll get going. Get straight into the game. Can I even remember how to do it? So, up in the top right, you can see this like best, uh, best times. I haven't tried any of these, so ignore the personal best time for crying out loud. So, what do we need for this? We need 40 seconds for bronze. 40 seconds for bronze. We'll give it a go. So, the world changes. Oh, God. Oh, right, okay. Yeah. Sweet. So, oh. Well, that was, uh, that was interesting. Where do I go? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what. Oh, what an idiot. What a fantastic noob. So you just sort of, it's like a mesh in space, and you control a ball. I like balls, apparently. Um, oh, jump spacebar, okay. Oh, air brakes, okay. Oh. Oh dear. Jump. For some reason, you might need an air brake. Jump. Air brakes. Uh, yeah, so obviously it, it sort of bounces and stuff um, as as the player moves. Where am I going? Ooh. Hold shift. Or that to climb walls. Excellent. Oh, so it turns the world. Okay. Interesting. Finishing line. Oh, okay. Total time, 48. I think we'll give that another go. Let's try again, shall we? Go, go, go! So, oh, it's just a beat your own time game, kind of game. Ooh. Space bar to jump, we know that. Go, go, go! I don't think we need to air break there, I don't know why we would. Let's get through this checkpoint, climb the walls! <laughs> To the finish line. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, we got bronze. We're only just off as well. Please enter a name. Oh, apparently my name. I pressed enter instead of shift for capital D. Never mind. Press tab for high scores. Yeah. Just like nobody. <laughs> Next level. Let's give it a try. I mean, there's... There doesn't seem to be much progression. It just changes the color and the the track a bit. Um, you know, essentially that everything's the same. They become a bit harder because there's steeper curves or, or whatever. But essentially, it's all the same kind of thing. So we'll just see if I can beat. Uh, what do we need? Ninety seconds. Ooh. I like the fact that you don't know where the rest of the level is until you get there. That's quite a good idea. This is a sharp bend, obviously. Oh, look, look how it's wobbling and waving and stuff. That makes it a little bit more interesting. Ah! Oh, that's good. Stuck to the world. Oh, oh, there's like holes opening up. Holy Christ. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, I don't know how to... Oh, shit. Oh, I'm done. Right, well, that was a failure. So, oh, okay. Is it checkpointed? Yeah, it must be. So we kind of want to just... Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. Where are we going? There's a lot of right-hand turns on this. Doesn't seem to be very many left-hand turns. Oh, here's one. Oh, sugar. I got so much momentum there. That was outrageous. How far have I gone back? Not that far. But I've, I've, I'm nowhere near that time now. Bronze time is gone. Oh, the finish line's there. Oh, I'm only a few seconds off as well. 
Well, I'm not going to uh, not going to try again. I completed it. It's good enough for me. Let's try the next level. We'll just give the quick next level. I think this is where my uh, this is where my ooh, sh sh this is where my skill is going to uh, be tested. Because the last few levels, I reckon, with a couple of practices, I could be quite good. This one, I reckon, I will never be good. Into that quick turn. Oh shit! It said right hand turn. I expected something a bit more sharp. If it's going to say right hand turn, I like that you can tilt the world. That was the uh, one of the U uh, USPs of the game when I uh, when I looked for something to download to play for you guys today. It said that you could alter the world to complete the, uh, or the world would change, and you can change the f sort of the physics of the world by turning it sideways and stuff. Uh, again, it has a, it was down. It was from it was from DigiPen. Oh wow! Shit in hell! Oh no! Man. Yeah, it's from DigiPen. So again, this is the kind of these guys are all going to be making. They're going to be part of larger teams. At larger companies making larger scale games, but you know, with this kind of knowledge and this kind of experience of producing your own game, the gaming industry can only improve, really. But, like I said at the start of this level, this is where my expertise this is where, my, oh, yeah, okay, right. Well, I don't think there's very much to this game, to, like, the next level is just going to be the same, isn't it? It's just going to be a mesh that changes shape, um, and Again, I'm not going to be able to complete it like this one, so I think I'll just show you another game. Um, yeah, let's move on to another game. Hello, guys. This game is a series of tubes. I think it's inspired by a famous quote from a US Senate senator. That's the quote I received at the beginning of the game, um, where he referred to the internet as a series of tubes. Um, so, uh, this is obviously uh, a parody. Um, I did play a bit of this game earlier, and it was incredibly hectic. And I felt like I couldn't record it without the background music. <laughs> Just added something to the game, I reckon. So here we go. Level one. Uh, level two. Yeah, level one, obviously. And it's a racing game. And this is kind of it. And then you get stopped, and then you move on, and you twist the tube, and it's a bit like... What the... Oh, 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 oh. And then you... Oh, these speedy bits. Speedy bits. Then you hit a red bit and then you get stopped and oh. See this is the kind of game I don't really enjoy and I I don't know how I'm for because I keep overtaking people. This is not based on position, it's based on time or something. Maybe these they started earlier. Or later. Crap. This puts my uh skills to the test. I've once played a, a flash game that the um, British uh, the Royal Navy designed to try and um, like it's just an internet game, and they monitored the scores to see who um, who had the reactions and the sort of who was able to to be a pilot. And I got an email from them because my time was incredibly good. Apparently, I was quite proud of that actually. Um, and I think I would be quite good at this game because of that. But you know, that's not, that's not the case. Like, evidently, I, I have no idea what I'm doing. This is a uh, I feel like this is the entirety of the game and, and there's not much more to it. Except there's a giant yellow thing there that I've never seen before. I thought there should be a cooldown. Oh my god. That, well, that, that was it apparently. Level 2. Yeah, I feel like when you hit the, one of the red bits there should be a, a cooldown on what, the effects of the next red part. Because if, if you hit a red block or whatever they are... Oh, what? What? I don't know what's happening. I literally haven't got a clue what's happening. Yeah, so you hit a red part here, and I can't do anything apart from hit the one in front of it, because I'm going so damn fast. Oh, flipping Laura. This isn't a game, this is just... you watch it happen. So apparently not everything at DigiPen is any good. It's very good. <laughs> I mean, obviously, this... no, this isn't very good at all. I think Sega Master Drive would have rejected this. Or Sega would have rejected it for the Master System, should I say. Look, there's nothing I can do. I can't do anything. I can't move in time. And you spin way too fast. There's nothing I can do. This is awful. I don't know if there's... 
Oh, holy shit. <laughs> yes, I do lose. Thanks. I just realised if you press space bar, you can shoot. And if you shoot, you destroy the blocks in front of you. Anyway, I, I don't want to play any more of that. I really don't. Um, thank you very much for... Music's going. <laughs> Music's going. Yeah, thank you very much for playing. Um, I promise I have some better games for you. I've already tested a couple of games that actually from DigiPen and the game I'm playing next week, um, I won't reveal it yet. The game I'm playing next week from DigiPen, they're all from, Digi they're all from DigiPen. Um, <laughs> I've already played loads of it. It really intrigued me. Um, so, um, thank you very much for watching. I'm Dadge. This is Dadge Gaming. Don't forget to, don't forget to check out Binary Core and um, binarycore.org for their blog, which I'm now a part of. Um, and you can check me out on their, um, weekly podcast as well i'm not on every single one of them but check them out anyway they're topical to what to gaming and just sort of general um <laughs> drivel <laughs> basically much like my channel so thank you very much for watching and as always subscribe 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 thank you very much